Hey guys, so it is Friday and I'm going to film a weekend type vlog. We uh, have a lot of exciting stuff going on in our family this weekend, but first we're taking a trip to a pig farm. Daniel, do you see the pigs? There's the pigs up there. Yeah, in a piggy house. Yeah. You see it, Daniel? He's coming down to see you. So this is a huge, big, big event here. Big pigs are coming up. Piglets coming down. Big pigs. Yeah. Yeah, that, that one. We saw some babies too, didn't we? Babies are that over there on the other down. side. Woo! That's a big, that's a big mama pig. Hi, piggy. Hold on, look, there are. Oh. In the full farm experience. There's some little calves. Daniel, you see the babies? See the babies? Wow. Look at all those babies. See the little mud on them? Are they cute? They like the little mud. They do. They're showing how the cows will sing to them. They'll call out like a cowboy and the cows move back. the exact van we've actually been looking since last fall and so it has just come together now we found the vans we're going to get it and also we've updated to our this mommy mo mobile video uh, several of you I've shared a picture of it on Instagram several of you remember like my Aldi haul where I've took our little neon and stuff I needed a vehicle that wasn't my husband's truck that fit two people and wasn't a 15 passenger van for times where you know it's just me and I don't know five or six kids or me and one kid or those times once in a while where it's just me or me and a baby things when I don't need the van Travis might need the van at home or whatever vehicle shopping vlogs so right now we've got a little under two hours left we're supposed to get there about 148 I have to stop for a restroom and baby break though so we'll hopefully get there about 2.30 or so. I was saying 3 was my goal with stops, but getting there. Okay, so in true Jamrel style, we just had a scare in reference to this van. Now again, we've been looking for a while. We had to line up so many things in our life in order for Travis and I to go today. So where we have found it, it is at a car dealership in New Jersey, and I've been talking to the guys there over the last couple days, you know, getting the exact amount of the vehicle, getting everything lined up, lining up for us to be there today, and I appreciate it. One of the men I've been talking to just called me and said, uh, basically he was just checking to see that we were still on our way. Yes, Benjamin's talking to us also because he said there's now a family from Maryland there and that family is looking at two vans 
but they're asking a lot about and he thinks they're leaning towards wanting to purchase the one that we're coming to buy. So he said, I told him how far away we are. We are now an hour and 19 minutes away. And he said that because he's been talking with me all week, he's gonna hold it for us, which I so appreciate because uh, we're good for it and we're almost there, Dennis. So thanks for holding the van. But that would really stink for us if someone else got it when we're on our way to get it. I know it could happen though, obviously, it could happen. But I appreciate him holding it for us because because we're coming. This van in particular is unique and specific. You can find them, but like whenever we look on eBay and all the different ways that you can buy vehicles these days, uh, we might only have like seven saved from across the country. So what it is, is it's the Mercedes brand. It's a Mercedes Sprinter. It's a 2013. Uh, this one has 66,000 miles. What else about it? Oh, it's the high top, the long wheelbase, so that like now in our 20 year old van, you know, the kids, we have to crawl over each other to get in. Now they'll be able just to like step in the door and walk to their seat. Uh, it has a six foot tall height, which is wonderful for, uh, since Travis is six foot six, with, um, you know, all the kids will be taller and all of that. I wanted to find the newest van possible with the least amount of miles within our budget. So we could find like a 2013 or a 2014, but it might have 150,000 miles or it might have 220,000 miles. I mean, these vans, you can get high mileage on them, but since it's newly used to us, we wanted it with the least amount of miles. We found another van that was a year newer with 10,000 less miles. So it had like 40, 46,000 miles on it, but it was $10,000 more. So $10,000 more for only one year newer and 20,000 less miles. So it's been a lot of like weighing it out and looking for the best options and those kind of things. Anyway, it goes with this van. We're looking to get um, some different rims for it, just some different like navigation and backup camera stuff. Some of those vans you can get with all of that in. That was something I was looking for, but I didn't want to not get this van because it didn't have the built-in navigation and backup camera because Travis can, he's already looked where he can buy those and put those in for us. So that wasn't a deal breaker. Um, yeah, so we are thankful that this car place is holding this vehicle for us. Look, Daniel, it's Big Bo's. Look out mommy's window, see? See the big ship? It's a cruise ship. Well, the thing is big. We made it here. We got a little turned around. Overall, really good. Uh, the van looks great to me. Travis is looking around it now. I've opened up all the doors. Obviously, it's real big. <laughs> it feels big sitting in it. Um, but that's, that's what big vans are, right? Lots of cargo room in the back, which I love because so many times you get these big vans and then you don't have room in the back. So with this, hold on honey, with this, lots of room. So there's a quick view. Travis is around the back looking at it for us. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna buy this van. Here's a cup holder, good job. Daniel got a Paw Patrol Marshall juice. Yes, and we are sitting here waiting for Daddy. Daddy went to drive the van, didn't he? He did. What do you think about what do you think about this mommy mobile? Oh yeah, cool. You like it? Huh? You, did you ride in the back all the way here? Uh-huh. Well, I asked me this conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here we are. And in New Jersey. Yeah. Me. It is you. Mama. You're watching him, he's backing it up. It has the little backup buzzer. Listen. Beep. Beep. Mommy's going to need a backup camera though, huh? So he just went driving around New Jersey with the car guy. <laughs> Billy Billy. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, Daniel's done really well. Was in this car. Of course, he was able to watch Paw Patrol the whole way. That was something different. So we have the new van and we have eaten a quick dinner at McDonald's, changed some diapers, all of that. Now we're gonna truck it back home and uh, Travis, is, Travis is driving the new van. He's over there 
getting ready. One thing that I already love about it, see I already have to add stuff about it, is it didn't have carpet on the floor. It has like a utility floor and that's what I wanted. My friend, One of my friends had the carpet taken out of her van and had like a rubber floor put in because she lives in the country and she has seven kids. Come on. And this already has that so we can just sweep the van out and not have to fool with carpet. Not something you see all the time at an intersection in New Jersey, but look, there's chickens out. Look at that. Chickens. So Chef Liam is at work. Travis and I didn't get home from our New Jersey run until this morning, basically. It was like, I don't know, 2 a.m. by the time we got to bed. So we are home today. We are doing eggs and toast, and then we're gonna take the kids out too see the new van and I'm sure take it for a test run. Right, Liam? Yep. Get the big ones. Two more. Here we go. Three. So we, yeah, one more. We've been taking our van out for a joy ride and we have run into Walmart for some fill-ins. Excellent, okay. These are three pounds, three pounds. We'll get some Golden Delicious. We've got two three big bags of red at home. We never have too much fruit, huh? So we have been out trying out our new van that Travis is calling Fantastic, And there's a view over the mountain. Liam has found a friend today. I'm gonna let go where I found it. Yeah, you'll let him go soon, but he's visiting. That's a nice toad. So I'm hanging up a new flag on our front porch today. It is Monday. So technically my weekend vlog is spilling into a new week but I didn't do the van tour yet. We're going on a big three mile hike, and when we get back, I'll do the van tour and wrap up this week weekend vlog, but uh, I couldn't just take you all to buy the van without showing you the inside of it. Okay, so of course we bought this new to us, big massive Stuart size van, and I haven't actually driven it yet. Travis is the car guy, so I knew when we found it and when we bought it, and I may have mentioned this earlier in the vlog, that uh, you know, if he drove it and he thought it was great, that was fine. I'd have plenty of time, plenty of years to drive it later. So this is, I don't even have my seatbelt on yet. My mirrors aren't adjusted. We're getting ready to hit the road, and I'm going to take most of us out for the first time of me driving. And I'm not nervous or anything, because I've been driving these big, like 10, 12, 15 passenger vans for many years now. It's just gonna be something new driving this one. Okay guys, now that the big new beast of a van is dirty and we've been driving it for a few days, I'm gonna give you a tour. So it is very, very tall. And let's see, you can possibly see in the video where some kids have already like rubbed in the dust. And because we do live in the wilderness uh, and you know, park on dirt, we're gonna get some gravel on this end here shortly. But uh, yeah, it's gonna get dusty and dirty, but it sure is pretty. And uh, we, do, we do like the dark windows. So let's open it up. Let's see. Okay, hear that? That is a super annoying beep that happens when this door is open and Travis is gonna figure out how to unhook that for me. So, uh, real dark in here, can't see a thing. Let me get it started and we will turn some lights on. So I did drive it around today successfully. Let's see, wrong vehicle, wrong key. So, whoop, got one of those cool keys. And, let's see if I can start it. Yeah, now let's see if I can get the interior lights on. Okay, this is hilarious, but um, I can't figure out how to turn the overhead lights off. And, oh, my flashlight is not gonna work super duper to show you all. So this officially proves that I am like the worst <laughs> van tour giver ever. Hopefully, maybe you can see this with my flashlight a bit. So we, yeah, I'm still trying. I'm not giving up because this week is going full steam ahead. And if I don't get this tour filmed for you guys now, uh, I won't get it done. So in the back, hello cargo room. You can probably see all of this. I just have my double stroller down there for now, a pack of diapers, a case of water, and a big broom because the broom is just for sweeping these wonderful floors. But look, I just love these big, windows so this back bench seat seats four this metal bench seat seats three this front bench seat 
sits three more and then two in the front. So I'm going to show you my scary self now, even though I've been working and uh, hoofing it all day, getting ready to go on another walk. So um, the van right now, the new van that we love so much already, is seated for 12 and then if we need it, it's made for 15. But for right now, we just have tons of cargo room and our other big 15 passenger van, we always left the last seat out of it so that we would have more room for stuff. Because again, I'm sure I've mentioned it, I don't like it when you have these big vans, but then you don't have room for stuff. So we definitely have room for it here and you can see like I'm standing up and I have lots of room until I reach the roof. Travis has room. Um, yeah, so we're loving it. Today I drove it probably for two hours and then the next couple days, let's see, tomorrow uh, the kids and I are going on an underground caverns tour. The next day we're doing a river walk, so just places that I'm driving to. And then my mom is coming in and lots of other families coming in and we have Jaden's big graduation and then a graduation barbecue the following day with friends so a lot happening this week at our house thank you so much for walk watching our adventure hoofing it up to new jersey and getting this van home and i'll see you real soon with another brand new video if you haven't already please subscribe and i will chat with you in the comments below if you drive a big van also let me know what kind of van you drive i talked to one um Instagram commenter the other day told me she drives one of those Yukon XLs and it seats nine. So, uh, and she has seven kids. So that seems like a good large family vehicle also. This is our dream large family vehicle. And I'm sure I said it again, but let me say it for the 15th time. We got it, it's five years old. So it's gently used, but brand new to us. So see you soon, bye-bye.